Oh, I've got to go up there. Can I fast travel? Let's see if I can fast travel. Please let me fast travel. Oh no, it's not letting me fast travel yet. Can I zoom in? Oh no, that's the wrong zoom. No, I can't fast travel yet. Oh, this is going to make me walk all the way over there. It's bullshit. I hate it. This game sucks. It's not really that bad. Just has some issues that I am happy were apparently removed in the fourth game. But we'll get to that when I probably eventually will get to that. And I'll punch this raccoon. Oh, I stabbed it still. Okay. Almost done. Just gotta get up this hill and onto a path and everything will be faster. There we go. This should go... Oh, no! There we go. Don't you just hate that? When you try to open a door and you end up climbing up a... Climbing it up it. And there's Achilles. I'm home. Just had to take a boat. Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good. But experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will. After the house has been repaired. But he's out there plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him? If you found him. You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full-grown, who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Go on before I change my mind. Cool. Now I can stab people. But guess what? This mission coming up doesn't involve stabbing people. You, sir, please help! He's going to die. Oh wait, do I have to actually initiate it? I can't just help this man. Uh, so this mission is the worst if you want to get 100% synchronization. Maybe it's just because I'm bad at find knowing when how far I can jump and stuff, but yeah, you'll see when we eventually stop following this man. Okay, so this is why it's so annoying, because you gotta, well, the game sort of wants you to jump across the river and sort of just free run on things, but you don't know what you can actually reach without hitting the water first. So it makes things annoying, and you can't actually save him here. Once you get close enough, he eventually floats away. So, whatever. And, mm, the speed of his log sort of goes with how fast you're actually running down the river. So it's not that hard, it's just the ending bit that's annoying. I'm not exactly sure if it's timed or if I'm just stupid. It's probably the latter. What 
this knob end is trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling? A knob end? You, because you are one. What were you doing on those logs? One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. Woo! Yeah, I'm just stupid, apparently. And I like how, like, you immediately, in the cutscene, you're in the water. So that was completely pointless besides, you know, challenge, I guess. I'll miss the peace and quiet, but we can certainly use the wood. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. What is it? An asset. So I'm guessing, uh, the game wants us to go help out that man. So, uh, why not? I'm already in hour 17. Can't hurt. I guess. Should probably stop twisting my head with the mic on to make it stop freaking out. So yeah, that's the special thing in this game. Some, there's these group of missions called Homestead Missions, and you can do them. And by doing that, you can craft new items, a couple pieces of gear, and but mostly it's just a bunch of stuff you can st sell so that you can uh, have a huge sum of money with nothing to do with it. Yeah. Mostly you make money so that you can uh, buy more things to make more money. And that's really it. But I'm just going to do as, like, most of them, if not all of them. Just because there's a couple items that you get from them that make life so much easier. And I've been running towards the boat the entire time. Whatever. I'll get to that guy eventually. He doesn't go away. What the hell is this? That's Achilles' cane. What the hell is it? What? Oops, someone made a mistake. They spawned it, and it doesn't have physics because it's constantly attached to Achilles. Oh well. Goodbye, Kane. Oh, it's disappeared. Oh well. I'll ma eventually make it over to our marker. That guy can wait. He's only on the edge of the cliff. Hey, he's still got his cane! His name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy, 
the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some, some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it... she... is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. I'll raise a crew. Uh. Okay. So this, uh, boat over here. It's not a sh boat, boy. It's a ship. But yeah, um, ship, boat, same thing. Besides definition and, you know, size and stuff. But yeah, let's get up there. You know what? Screw Achilles, we're gonna save that man. Right now. Oh god, he's all the way down here. And I'm in a mission, so... Oh shoot, I'm in a mission. I don't know if I can actually help him. Stab a raccoon. Oh wow, he didn't have the knife, so I just punched him. Punch that raccoon. I don't know why it's on the map still, though. Oh wait, hmm. I'll have to deal with it later. Just do this now, because I know another mission starts after this, so. I'll do that in between that mission and this one. Perfect! Planning! There you are. I have something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Guys, let's make some barrels. Okay, so let's purchase some lumber. Yeah, that should be good. Sweet. Now, let's go to crafting. Or not make a land convoy. I don't know what's going on. Just give me some lumber. Yeah, let's sell some lumber. No, I can sell more. Barrels are next. That's the next thing. Hey, mission complete. Yep. We're almost done. Seriously, though, Sequence 5 is the worst. Time passed quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. What little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars. About Charles Lee and my father. I longed to confront them. To put an end to their schemes. To ensure my people would remain untroubled and free but I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing. Patience, restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me. But in time, I mastered them as well. Days became months. Months became years. And as my skills and knowledge grew, so too did I. We're going to go save that man after six months. Should still be there. It's a weekend thing, you know? They do this every weekend. Just go up on a cliff and hang this man over it. Make him cry uncle and then they go home. 
It's all in fun and games. Oh, wow! Yes! Punch that beaver in the air. Ugh, I punch him so hard I rip his, all his flesh off. Yeah, let's just climb this rock face. That's cool. There we go. Almost over. Just got a hmm, 200 more meters to go. And my ear itches. Oh, well, gonna have to deal. Come on, you can do it, Connor. I believe in you. Climb this tree. Okay, just go on the rock face. I don't care. Hey, finally, we're in the trees. We might actually get somewhere fast. There we go. Now we can run. Oops, sorry. Had the A button pressed. Okay, screw the trees. I'll make my way up my own way. By running. Uh, I can't climb. Gotta find a way up. Seems easiest over here. It's probably easiest. Everything looks taller. There we go. Um, uh, here. This works. Probably. There we go. This is going to be so exciting, you don't even understand. Oh, that's where the smoke was coming from. Shh. Hey, what douchebags? Let's make this ironic. Oh no, I have to get back by the cliff. Ouch! Let me get by the cliff. I'm gonna make this so ironic right now. Goodbye. Um, I okay. That was only one ironic. Oh, there they go. Now it's ironic. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. Silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I had best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of his majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my woodshop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that. Woo! Yes! Mission complete! And I, I remembered in that cutscene that I um, actually do have hidden blades, so I could have stabbed two of them at once. Oh well!